Abby, just, just try and stay still, OK? You're going to make the pain worse. I need to say goodbye. What? I need to say goodbye. No, you, you're doing great. It's just the drugs kicking in. What's happened? Uh, she's hurt her arm, mate. It's all right, mate. <laughs> I'll go and get Kev. Are you ready to go? Yeah, OK. Tell him I'll see you at the hospital. <laughs> I didn't think you'd still be here. I figured I'd have a little sort out whilst I was at him. This lot's going to charity. Out with the old, in with the new. I didn't mean it like that. Really? I bought you that shirt. You wore yeah. it on honeymoon. I remember. Really? Because you don't seem to remember any of your marriage vows. Don't lecture me about marriage vows. I seem to remember something in there about honesty and loyalty. What about forgiveness? I know it seems impossible right now, but if you just gave it a few days or weeks, you might feel differently, and this just feels so final. It is. Unless you're going to change your mind about protecting Gary. Well, then. There's a young lad walking past now, red hoodie, dark hair, between 20 to 50, so I'm not very good with ages. Hang on, he's stopping. Is it Todd? <gasps> I hope you're going to pick that up, young man. Sorry. Right. Well, I am sorry. There's one thing I cannot abide. It is a little out. Why I agree to this, I've got no idea. Oh, don't be disheartened. We've only been on the stakeout for 46 minutes. And you need patience and tenacity to be a spy. And discretion. <laughs> oh, I can blend. <gasps> oh, there's movement. The dam's gonna burst. Hey, I need the loo, two tips. Oh, Sean, you, you meant to be watching the bag. Sean! Come on, then, it's your turn. All right, then, smarty pants. One day, I went to market and I bought an arty... What's it? Artichoke. That's it, one of them. Uh, some belly pork, custard creams, dog food, eggs. Um, oh, what the XF? Mind if I use your loo? I don't think I'll make it at home. Fruit Loops. <laughs> uh, gravy granules, honey roast ham and individually wrapped boiled sweets. Hang on, hang on, you're not having that. You all right? <laughs> all right, son. Son, you be at work. I'm, um, I'm a bit worried about our Gemma. I saw her before and she was acting weird. Weirder than usual. She ran a proper downer. I think she might be depressed again. What are you doing? It's probably because she's seeing that nasty piece of work Vanessa again. She's not, is she? <laughs> That, uh, that loo's blocked. Well, there's a plunger and a mop and a bucket in the back. Hang on, it wasn't me. We've only got your word for that. But I'm on... So? Do you reckon I should speak to the doctor about Jem? Well, listen, love, maybe me and Cathy should pay her a visit first, you know, get a second opinion. Maybe she just caught her at a bad time. Where have you been? I was getting ready to meet this new athletics coach. Could I only turn up in my overalls? Well, Abby's trapped around working on a car. But Peter's just rang saying she's going into surgery something about an open fracture. I need to be there. Yeah, come on, I'll give you a lift. <sighs> what about Jack's trial? I'll sort it. You need to get to the hospital. Come on, he'll understand. Wait, Kev. So, where is she then? Where's she hiding? She's not here. OK, well, you can just tell her from me then. Look, we're finished. <laughs> She's let them kids down for the very last time. I'm not going to forgive her. There's been an accident. I don't know what's gone on between the two of you, but I'm assuming it's got something to do with he who shall not be named. Are we talking about Lord Voldemort or Gary Windows? <laughs> Is there a difference? Look, he's never wanted you and Sarah to be happy, has he? So, whatever trouble is stirred up between the two of us, don't let him win. He already has. 
So how about it, big man? Me and you, a couple of beers, and let's see what's new and tender. Well, as tempting as that is, I was actually going to ask you to leave. I've got someone coming round. Just to do an energy survey, mind. Great. Well, guess I better find another wingman then. Yep. Or, and here's an idea, you could try and save your marriage. Don't you think I've tried? I'm not the bad guy here. Sarah knows what she has to do to make this right. She's the one that's given up on us, not me. Well, thanks for your time. So, uh, where's, where's Peter? He's gonna want me to get changed. Said he'll put back later. I'm just glad he found her when he did. Could have been so much worse. I should have known something was wrong. I just thought she bottled it. Mum? I shouldn't be here. Okay, okay. You're going nowhere. You just had an operation. The twins? They've, um, they've gone. Mum, I'm... I'm sorry. Right on time. Something smells nice. Yeah, chicken and mushroom pie with mashed potatoes. Well, at least that was the plan. I think I've got the wrong potatoes, though. Might have to call them crushed. <laughs> well, I've got two buses to catch to see my next client, so can make this quick if you like. Guessing you don't want me here when your dinner guest arrives. Uh, actually, it's you. I've made this for us. Not that I think that there's a nose. Of course, there's not a nose. I just... I don't know. I just thought it might be nice. Have something to eat while we talk. Nothing wrong with that, is it? I guess. Okay then. But I'd have been happy with a plate of oven chips. You don't have to go to all this effort. I like it. Miss having someone to cook for. Cardigans on the chair. Well, I am definitely B. Um, in a crisis. So, overall, that makes me a strong, independent woman. Who knew? I am so sorry. You've been hours. Jenny coming into work. Well, I could hardly say no, could I? It is my actual job. Yeah, well, I've got one of those too, believe it or not. Have I missed anything? No, no, Mary's had eyes on it the whole time. Really? Mary's asleep. What? Mary! Um, OK. No! No, Todd's probably been the whole time you've been having a kip! I, I knew this was a stupid idea! What? What can I say? I'm so sorry. I, I should have had a double shot in my mouth today. Who the hell are you? to collect it. He must have done. I told you, I've no idea what you're talking about. Oh, you expect us to believe you just strolling past and you spotted the bag? I don't care what you believe, it's true. Never heard of this Todd bloke. There's only one way to find out then, isn't there? Where is he? What have you done with him? I've not done anything with him. You've got his phone. I found it. Oh, yeah? Where? In a bag. By the canal. Looked like someone had just dumped it there. I know I should have handed it in, but then I started looking through the text and that. Figured I could make a few quid. So it was you that wrote the letter? Yeah. All right. All right, well, take us there then. To where you found his stuff, you know, that there might be a clue. That'll help us find him. Yeah, all right. Oi! Come on, Mary! saying is, I've got bulldozing your way in. Uh, I can be subtle when I have to be. 
What do you two want? Uh, well, we were just passing and um, wondered if you fancied a cuppa. Has that Vanessa been getting inside your head again? Paul was worried about you. He thinks you're depressed. Why? Well, he said you were acting weird when he spoke to you earlier. Well, yeah, of course I was acting weird. Not because I'm depressed. Because I thought he was on to me about the party. What party? I don't know anything about a party. Yeah, well, of course you don't. It's supposed to be a surprise, isn't it? Can I go home then, Doc? We can manage the pain better if you're in hospital. I feel fine, honestly. But you're not long out of surgery. And we can't prescribe you any morphine to take home. It's too addictive. You're the boss. <laughs> so, are you all done? Uh, how are you feeling? Well, I reckon my arm wrestling days are over, but I could probably manage a game of ping pong in a couple of weeks. <laughs> I didn't get to say goodbye. It is what it is. The main thing is, they got to see Seb. Yeah, and you, you can phone them when they get there. I know it's not the same, but at least you can explain. Are you supposed to be watching Jack? He's meeting his new coach, isn't he? Yeah, but... What's the goal? Seb's here to keep me entertained. Be there for your son, Kev. Please don't make the same mistakes I did. Come on. So... Can I get you anything? Yeah, go and hit me again from the children's ward. It's gonna be a long night. Okay. So I'm getting us gold thrones, you know, like Posh and Bex. Well, not real ones, but Fizz reckons she can upcycle something from the junk shop. Oh. Sounds awesome. And I'm getting T-shirts with our faces on, and I've made a playlist of famous double acts. It was going to be famous twins, but the only ones I could think of was Cheeky Girls. Well, there's the Proclaimers, Bee Gees, Bros. Oh, yeah. I can still change it. So, let me get this straight. When you told him that you weren't feeling great, you were just trying to throw him off the scent? Yep. And it looks like it worked. I could have been an actress, mate. Yeah. Yeah, you're wasted in that kebab shop, love. He thinks you're having some sort of mental breakdown, and I'm not entirely sure that he's wrong. Yeah, love, I, I don't want to put a downer on things, but how are you going to afford all this? Well, you guys are chip in, won't you? Well, I, I, I'll help with the food, and that's it. Come on. I've told Billy and Summer it's going to be the most epic party ever. Don't look at me. Fine, I'll scale it back a bit. I'll lose the thrones. And the T-shirts, all right? So what are we supposed to tell Paul? Well, I don't care, but if you ruin the surprise, I'll... I'll be fuming. Me mum and Kathy think I'm overreacting. But I know she's hiding something. Well, maybe she is, but it doesn't mean it's something bad, does it? Nah. I've seen her act like that before, when we were kids. She broke the arm off me, Mr Frosty. She denied it, of course, but I knew she was lying. Her tongue was blue. Anyway, what I'm saying is, if she is ashamed of something, like she was about being depressed, admitting the truth don't come easy to her, Jen. Oh, heck, that'll be your cobbler. Hope you don't mind your dumplings being burnt, Sean. It just doesn't make any sense. Why would he leave his bag by the canal? Well, you hear stories about people, don't you, who go missing, that all anyone finds of them is a pair of shoes on the beach or a, an abandoned car on a cliff top. Who's gone missing? One of the parishioners. Um, he's, he's got a bit of a track record of going AWOL, and um, he's a bit of a liability, if I'm honest, so I'm, I'm, I'm not concerned. Right, well, uh, you come in then. Just about to put the dinner on. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be right behind you. Look at me like that. Look, I didn't want any part of this. The last thing I need is Paul getting all paranoid and jealous. It's his birthday tomorrow. So you've not even told him that we're looking for Todd? No. No, and ch chances are Todd will be doing exactly what he's always done, which is looking out for number one. So I, I am not worried, nor should you be. I was, um, I was wrong, you know. 
I, um, I always thought that you gave up the twins because you wanted an easy life. Like, you just didn't care enough to put in the graft. It was never that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. I, um, I get it now. You just wanted them to have a better life. And if it's any consolation, I, I think you did the right thing. I did, did I? So what brought about this big revelation? Well, I saw a picture of the new house in Australia. Um, it's got a pool. <laughs> um, and a garden as big as the wreck. It's just not true what they say, is it? Sometimes love's just not enough. No. No, it's not. You know, I'm pretty tired. I could do with trying to get my head down while I can. Yeah, OK. OK, well, I'll, um, I'll go and get something to eat. Um... The twins, um... They made you this. I'm, I'm sorry it's all scrunched up. That's my fault. I was just... Angry. It's OK. I get it. OK. I just want to shake him, tell him that he's been stupid. If something happened to Sarah tomorrow, he'd be absolutely devastated. People just waste so much precious time being angry with each other, don't they? I'll have to stop you there. I need to go. Two buses, remember? Really? We haven't had your dessert yet. Look, it's red velvet cake. Please, just stay. I'll pay you double. I can't. Look, Daniel, you've got family. Friends, people who care about you. Why don't you talk to them instead of throwing your money away on me? I like talking to you. Well, just to warn you, I'm booked up now for the rest of the week. I could always give you the number of another girl. No, no, it's fine. I'll wait until you're free. The cake will freeze. Australia, they don't say goodbye, they say see you later. See you later, Mummy Abby. It's a love language. Son, tell me what happened today. Do you know if you need to talk to someone, I can make a referral. I don't need a counsellor. Just need something to take the pain away. Can I have some help in here, please? Jack got a PB. His corpse was impressed, all right, Peter. Hey, Kevin. Oh, that's brilliant. So, so how's the patient? Oh, you know, I'm getting there. The discovery of some old bones causes a stir in the village in Midsummer Murders on Sunday evening at 6 on ITV. But coming up next, we've drama for your Friday night as DCI Stanhope investigates more grisly findings in VRAP.